Hello and welcome back to the basics of deep learning. This is Sushant and today we are going to talk about the neuron which is a basic building block of artificial neural network. So let's get started. The whole purpose of deep learning is to mimic how a human brain works by keeping a hope that we can create something amazing. So our challenge right now is creating a neuron for an artificial neural network. So let's see how to do it. Let's have a closer look at a biological neuron. So this is an anatomy of neuron in our brain. Neurons are specialized cells that receive and transmit electrical signals in our body. Neurons are composed of mainly three parts. First is dendrite. So I'll just mark it on the screen. Second is nucleus. And third is an axon. Signals are usually received through dendrites which are connected to the other neurons. So you can see here there are some kind of root like structures. These are dendrites which are connected with the other neurons through which we received electrical impulses in the nucleus. So I have just marked it some arrows here you can see through which a neuron will receive electrical impulses and it has been processed inside nucleus and nucleus will take the decision whether to pass on that electrical signal or impulse to the next neuron if it is to be passed then it has been passed through axon and it will take this path all the way from one neuron to the next neurons so this is how the electrical impulse will be passed to the next neuron now let's have a look at an artificial neuron in an artificial neural network so let's move to a perceptron perceptron is the most fundamental unit of a neural network it is an artificial neuron which is inspired from a biological neuron which takes an input, processes it and returns an output. So let's look at how we represent a perceptron in neural network. This is a neuron, especially the nucleus part of it, represented by a circle which receives signal from other neurons. In perceptron, these input signals are actually input values received either from data sets or from other neurons, depending on its placement in neural network, that is whether it is in hidden layer or in an output layer. We will talk about it in future. x1, x2 up to xn are all input values with bias as 1. So these are all input values. These input values are supplied with corresponding weights w1, w2, all the way to wn and a bias. These weights show the strength of each input value that helps to get right output signal. So we will learn more about these weights and bias in upcoming videos. Next, the most important aspect of artificial neuron is to make decisions, similar to what we have seen in biological neuron. But in biological neuron, this decision is like a black box that we are unaware that what exactly it is happening in nucleus. But in case of perceptron, we divide this decision process into two steps. So let's have a look at it. First step is a weighted sum, where we multiply all the input x1, x2, 
and so on with respective weights and then add all the multiplied values with a bias to it. This will give a weighted sum. In second step, we will apply a correct activation function to this weighted sum so that each input signal is mapped to the output signal. The main purpose of this activation function is to introduce nonlinearity in neural network. We will learn more about activation function in future videos. After applying an activation function, a perceptron generates an output. This output may be a continuous value, just like a linear regression, or a binary value, whether it is yes, no, or 0 or 1, or maybe categorical values in case of predicting more than one values. So you can see here outputs are y1, y2, all the way to yn. The main purpose of perceptron, the whole model what we are seeing now, is to classify given data into two parts. Therefore, it is also known as linear binary classifier. So this is all about an artificial neuron. Now before we end this tutorial, let's look at what we have learned so far as a quick recap. We have seen a biological neuron and its functioning. We have seen the anatomy of biological neuron, its main three parts, dendrites, nucleus and axon, and how they contribute all together to receive and transmit signals from one neuron to another neuron. And finally, we have seen an artificial neuron and its component like input values, a weighted sum, an activation function, and the output values generated by an artificial neuron. So this is all about an artificial neuron, also called as perceptron. If you have any questions, just comment on this video. Thank you.